Welcome to the October random mails video. <laughs> uh, we are starting off the month, let me turn this around so you can see it, with an authentic Motor City Pizza Company. This is the Five Cheese Bread. Uh, this is um, our favorite pizza company right now, favorite frozen pizza company right now. I would rather have one of these pizzas than like uh, Papa John's or um, Little Caesars or Domino's or any of those. I would rather have a Motor City pizza. Um, and it doesn't matter which uh, flavor what you get, like if you get pepperoni or whatever, um, they're really, really good frozen pizzas. So, sticks or the bigger pizzas? no, I'm fine just like it is. For my part, you can cut yours again if you want. Uh, so, uh, we this is probably our favorite brand, and then our second favorite brand would be Screaming Sicilian. So, if you don't have um, a Motor City pizza, if, you, if your store does not sell these, then Screaming Sicilian is excellent as well. Oh, well, they sell these at Walmart, they sell these at Walmart, they also sell them at at Kroger, don't they? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so. I'm pretty sure they sell them at Kroger too. So these are, are just really good. This one in particular is nice because it's different. It doesn't have red sauce. It has a a garlic sauce. And uh, so Kevin and I did review it. If you're interested in that review, uh, but that's how we're starting off October. We ate at Ashley's twice in a row. So on this night, we had steak. Anytime we have steak at Ashley's, Kevin cooks out on the grill because it's easy. So we had steak and we had Sister Schubert's rolls. And then on this night, she did a Chick-fil-A copycat where she marinated the uh, or soaked the chicken in um, pickle juice. And we had rolls, hash brown casserole and uh, baked macaroni and cheese and Ashley always uses extra cheese so it was it was a really really delicious meal tonight for dinner Kevin and I are having one of these craft spaghetti classics meals we love this and so we use this meal but we also add one pound of hamburger you need one pound of hamburger and you need one can of tomato paste and it is a terrific meal so I've actually showed it on camera making it before but that is going to be our dinner tonight. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are going to be having one of these I'm Thin and Crispy Pepperoni and Sausage Scrum and Sissy and Pizzas. Uh, we like this. It's not my favorite Thin and Crispy. My favorite Thin and Crispy is like, it's called like Double Sausage or something like that. Mm -hmm. But they didn't have it at Kroger, so we just bought this one. And this will be good too. Uh, but we left it in a little extra, so it got a little scorch on it, which is how we like it. I like a little scald. Tonight for dinner, we are having tacos. I know I showed these, uh, I'm pretty sure, in September's video. Uh, we're eating, I, I didn't buy any uh, lettuce or tomato or anything. We're literally having the shells, the ground beef with the taco seasoning cheese and then taco sauce now kevin has uh soft shells and kevin likes refried beans so he is eating refried beans with his and he is not using taco sauce he has a different kind of sauce that he's using on his but he's having tacos as well Today, Kevin and I are eating lunch at A&W. It's A&W All-American Food. Um, I got an order of onion rings and some marinara sauce. And Kevin ordered, you can't see everything because his burger's not up, but what kind of burger did you get? It's a single bacon cheeseburger. Single bacon cheeseburger and french fries. I had never had their french fries and he gave me a couple. They're actually really, really Whoever good. Whoever made them did a good job because they're crispy and salty. Yes, and their food, you might sit in line for a minute, but their food is always very, very hot and fresh. So tonight for dinner, Kevin made fried chicken and so many of you all have said, Kevin's uh, fried chicken looks so good. It does, it's perfect. It's perfect fried chicken, but we're having fried chicken and hash brown casserole. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having chili. I don't think we've had chili. I can't remember having it at all this year yet. Usually we have it several times during the cold months and usually the first month is um, sometimes uh, August or September, but a lot of times it's October. So um, it's just nice hearty food. And I do have a video on the channel of the chili we make it's a very very old video uh, but we make it the exact same way that we did back then 
Tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be having a can of bean and bacon soup. I ate the entire can. I only put um, half a can of water because this is con uh, condensed soup. Uh, so I do put half a can of water, but it fills up a uh, bowl perfectly and I will definitely have uh, lots of crackers with it. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having one of the I'm Thin and Crispy double sausage pizzas. This is from Screaming Sicilian. Uh, we buy this one. This is one of those we buy at Meyer because Kroger doesn't have it. I'm hoping one of these days we'll find it at Kroger though. Yeah, they have the sausage and pepperoni, but not the double sausage. Double sausage. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having ch fried chicken and hash brown casserole. I'll probably show you this about once a week. Uh, we had this last week. We're having it again this week. And uh, I told you then, or I might have told you then, usually I get two servings of hash brown casserole, uh, but this will be dinner tonight. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having eggs. It's just scrambled eggs and bacon and green onion and some cheese. And the reason the eggs are a darker color is because we cooked the bacon in the pan and we used the bacon grease uh, to uh, keep the, get the, the pan wet. Basically, instead of spraying butter or spray or something like that, we use the bacon grease. So that's why it's a little dark. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having chicken parmesan. I have just a little bit of spaghetti underneath and just put some red sauce uh, on the spaghetti. Uh, but this is just um, fried chicken with panko, breadcrumbs, and some mozzarella cheese and some prego pasta sauce. So we are eating at Cane's today, surprise, surprise. <laughs> and um, I got a, a three finger combo and then Kevin got the box combo. But somebody told me that they said, next time you go to Cane's, order a thing of the honey mustard and it's excellent. So we're actually gonna try the honey mustard. So normally we just eat the regular Cane sauce, but they were like, you need to try that honey mustard cause it's even better than the Cane sauce. So can't imagine. I'll tell you one thing I don't like about it is their fries are sometimes soggy. Yes, I normally I wouldn't get their fries, but Kevin said, well, last time I had them, they were really fresh. They're not this time. And I thought, oh, well, I'll get the fries and we'll see. <laughs> and no, they're they're soggy. So, you know. I've had fries from the oven that were better. Yeah, I mean, it's just disgusting. So, why waste your time on them? Okay, are you going to try the honey mustard? Do you, are you going to try it with chicken or fries? Chicken. Okay. Right. It's very hot. Yeah, the chicken is good and hot. Okay, here we go. I'm dipping it. You want to watch Kevin dip his? Go ahead. Okay. It looks uh, runnier. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like, um, I love honey mustard anyway. Mm-hmm. I get that on my salads when I, when I get salads. Yeah. But it's good. It has a nice um, sweet mustard flavor. It does. It, it does have a sweet flavor. Uh, the reason I like the cane sauce is because it has a, a pepper flavor. Yeah, a little, little more seasoning. And it's thicker. It is thick and it really coats the chicken. And um, it's, it's a little bit heavier. So now I'm going to have a, some of the cane sauce. Hmm. Honey mustard's good with fries, too. Hmm. Make your fries good. Yeah, well, it doesn't make them good, but... Mm. I like the honey mustard. But the flavor is not as strong as the cane sauce. So, I'm glad I got it to try it. But I'm going to stick with the cane sauce. I will, too. Yeah. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having chili. Uh, this is the second time we've had it uh, since it's gotten colder outside. Uh, but I really like it because it's a hearty meal and it stays with you for a while. So usually I have this full bowl, which is a lot. Uh, but then we, I'll, I'll eat all the cheese. And then once the cheese is gone, I'll add more cheese to it. But I will usually eat a bowl and a half. So tonight we are having vegetable soup for dinner, and I, we call it vegetable soup, but I've said many times before, it's actually vegetable beef soup because it does have uh, roast in it. There's a whole roast in here, so it looks like I have a lot of noodles on the top of mine, but there's a lot of other stuff going on down there, so I'll probably have two bowls of this, and I have some crackers to go with it. 
Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having the Bessie's Revenge Screaming Sicilian Pizza. Um, this is, a, it's a really good cheese pizza and they were on sale at Kroger. So, um, yeah, I want to go on for it. yeah, really good deal. Today for lunch, we are having Joella's chicken. So I got two uh, pieces of chicken. They did not give us any dipping sauce at all. So we're just going to eat it like it is and hopefully it's still good. <laughs> and we got some French fries. Today, Kevin and I are having Cane's chicken for lunch. We got some uh, three finger combo. We both got the same thing actually. So you get bread and you get three pieces of chicken and uh, the sauce to dip it in, cane sauce and french fries, and it includes a drink.